welcome back to my channel and I'm excited because I use the awesome Wet n Wild Fergie palette. There's got to be a name for this. What is the name for this? Is it Milano Collections? I guess that's the name of this palette. Anyways, it's the nude palette and it's amazing. That's what I have on my eyes now. It's just kind of a really easy daytime look, but it has kind of a pop to it with the, you know, shimmery shades on the lid. And then I have a bunch of um, shimmeriness going on in the waterline too. I love this palette. I think everything that I'm wearing too is drugstore, I think. Yeah, so this whole look is drugstore super affordable and it's gorgeous especially for the daytime it's kind of like um a soft but sassy sexy daytime look if you know what i'm saying because you got the sparkle in the eyes to lure the boys in just kidding i'm totally married but you know what i'm saying it gives you that like a twinkle in your eyes that devious little like twinkle never mind i don't even know what i'm saying anyways i'm just saying i love this look it's perfect for the daytime it's all drugstores so anyways, if you want to see how I got this look with this little bad girl here, keep on watching. So I already have my face makeup on. I am trying out this new foundation. It's called L'Oreal Visible Lip uh, Serum Absolute. I don't know if this is actually new or if they just did the packaging over again. Uh, but I know on the stand it did say uh, full coverage, anti-aging, something or other makeup. So I've just been kind of testing this out. I think I'm going to do a review on it if I do find out that it is kind of a new formulation and not just a new packaging because it very well could be. So the first shade that I'm going to start with is the seventh shade over in the middle here and it's this really matte kind of light brown gray color. And I'm just going to place that in the crease. Um, this is kind of going to be our transition shade. So you don't have to be too careful with it. I'm just going to apply it quick and fast. Windshield by promotions, you know, the normal routine. So just kind of building the shade up. This is going to kind of be like a daytime look, so I'm not going to do anything too crazy, but... Um, I would say I like my crease more dramatic during the day than uh, the average person does. Now that we have our crease kind of all blended out, I'm going to take this second color here, this really shimmery color, and I'm just going to place this around my inner tear duct and kind of just a quarter up on the lid, just packing it on. After we have our inner tear duct highlighted, I'm going to take this L'Oreal highlighter pencil in Illuminator. It's just kind of like a soft pinky color and I'm just going to put this in my water line. I'm really going to load this in my water line. So after we have that in our waterline, I'm going in with the seventh shade over, which is kind of this shimmering taupe color. And I'm just going to apply this to the rest of the lid, like the last three quarters of the lid that we have left. And I'm just kind of packing it on, really building up that color. Next shade I'm going to be using is the fish shade over, is this kind of deep bronzy color. And I'm just using the brush that it came with. And I'm just going to sweep or kind of blot a little bit of that on the outer corner and just a tiny bit in the crease. I really love the brushes that came with these, especially this one for just the crease if you just want to kind of blend the a uh, few shades together. This does it perfectly without like, you know, ruining your whole look and blending everything together. So moving back down to our waterline, I'm just taking this second shade again and I'm just going to pack this on under the whole entire uh, waterline. So just like right below the lashes and kind of in between them.
Right under that shimmery shade we just placed down, I'm gonna go right back into this brown taupe shade. I'm gonna go right up under the shimmer. So not on it, just kind of where the shimmery uh, shadow meets your skin. I'm just gonna go ahead and do winged eyeliner because that's what I prefer, but I mean any kind of eyeliner or type is gonna work with this look. So now that I have my winged eyeliner on, I'm just gonna tight line um, in black just to cover up any of that skin that is still showing. Really make sure to get in between the lashes. You don't want any skin showing. I almost forgot you wanna highlight your brow bone. I'm just using this first kind of creamy a satiny shade. It's really pretty, perfect for your brow bone. So now that I'm done with the eyes, or at least the shadow part, I'm going to apply a mascara. You can curl your lashes if you want. I try not to all the time just because I don't want them breaking off. I am using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. Love this mascara. I haven't used it in a while. I've kind of been rotating mascaras, but I always come back to this mascara. It's such a good mascara. So now that we're done with the eyes, I'm going to move on to the face and for blush I'm using the Hard Candy Fox in a Box and Skinny Dipping. I just love these. I still use these all the time. I know these, this is kind of old school now, but I just love these blushes and they're so cute. But I'm going to go in with the more brown shade. If you pick up some of the orange, it's fine because we're going to be applying some of that in just a minute. But I'm going to pick up most of this brown shade and just place it on the apples of my cheek. And as you can see, I did get some orange mixed up in there, but that's okay. Just going to blend it up. Well, I'm going to blend it up anyways. Up into my temple and just kind of back. This is such a pretty blush. It reminds me of Exposed from Tarte, at least um, the nude side anyways does. So now I'm going to go in with some of the orange side and I'm just going to tap a little bit near the back towards my hairline and up into my temple just a little bit. I'm trying not to get carried away with this. I love, blush is my favorite thing to apply out of all the makeup products. I love applying blush. And probably something that I hate to apply but love the effect of is definitely winged eyeliner and then mascara. I hate to apply those but I really love the way they look when they're done. It's just something that I really don't look forward to putting on. It's kind of just like, oh, I wish I could snap my fingers. I could just be on. Then for highlight, I'm going to add this Physicians Formula Powder. It's in Translucent Pearl. I'm just going to add a little bit of this. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but this actually does have a really pretty satin finish. There, there is tiny shimmers in it, but they're so tiny that I don't mind them on my face. I normally hate shimmers on my face, but... These are so tiny that you can't even really see them unless you get up close. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on, just kind of on the tops of my cheekbones, down my nose, you know, the typical areas you would highlight. Um, and this is just subtle, so it kind of just makes the blush even pop just a little bit more. For lips, I'm using the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in East End Snob. Uh, I know I've used this in a past tutorial. I just love this color. I like this color too because you can really overdraw your lips without it looking super obvious because there's nothing worse than when somebody overdraws their lips and it's so obvious. Um, it just looks really bad. Uh, this is a color that you can really get away with doing that. So even though it is a really pretty pink shade, I love it for that reason too. I did put a little lip balm over the lip liner just because I feel like this lip liner isn't the most hydrating but I love the color. And as for lipstick, I'm gonna be using Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick, and this is in the color or the shade or the name. What am I trying to say? This is in the lipstick called Make Me Pink, and it's a kind of a neutral um, pink color, but it does have a little bit, just a little bit of um, kind of a berry 
berry vibe going on is what I'm trying to say. I just think this color goes perfectly with this look because you got the cool toned eyes, the warm cheeks, and then kind of a berry lip. But it's still soft, kind of like the eyes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. One last lip product, you can skip this, but I always like to highlight the center and top of my Cupid's bow with a lighter lipstick or whatever you have. You can even use an eyeshadow. Um, what am I using? I'm just using the Milani Matte um, Lipstick in Innocent. It doesn't make a huge difference, but it makes enough difference to where um, it really does make your lips look fuller. So I love that trick. It's one of the oldest tricks in the book, but hey, it works. So that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If I didn't mention anything in the video, it will all be in the bottom bar. Please comment down below and let me know how you like this look. Let me know of any other looks you would like to see. I was thinking about kind of doing a more of a bronzy summer type look with the other shades in this palette. Um, and then also I plan on doing a look with the purple palette as well. Also, I wanted to ask you guys if any of you guys know if this L'Oreal Visible Lift Foundation is new or if it just has, uh, you know, new packaging, please let me know. I've been trying to look it up and I can't find it anywhere, so I'm kind of just thinking it's new packaging, but I don't know for sure. So if you happen to know that, please let me know in the bottom bar. So I think that about wraps this video up. Let me know if you guys have any ideas for future videos. I would be glad to do them for you. Until then, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.